Book Two, Chapter Ten. Helen and he had begun to drift apart again, and it was no surprise to him or her, given his faculties so far from intact. But what Lizard had said about Cass's volatility also caused Will to push Helen away for her protection. They never discovered who broke into her home that night. Out of the blue, Helen called and invited him to one of her friend's going-away parties. He decided to go. They arrived at the Erie Cafe at 10 at night, and the room in the front was packed tight with her group, 700 bucks sauced out. They had been drinking for five hours. He had a few slugs of Seagram 7 at home before walking the dirty streets east to meet Helen. They watched the sun set outside of her apartment, stepping out onto the fire escape, one after the other, sharing vague stories to pass the time, then leaving for Erie Street with vague notions in their heads about where they had been and how their relationship had changed in the time apart and whether it was still salvageable. There was no leaving a past lover behind in your mind. So many lovers simply leave each other. So many lovers simply love one another. They hit the cafe with one of her roommates and her boyfriend. There was no room at the table and the party had too much. So they got a table for four and ordered some calamari and Caesar salads and drinks 